Hi, I'm Zerfall, and welcome back to Let's Play Treasure Vrugra. It's time to go sailing across the desert on our own two legs. Um, we're gonna ruin the sandstorms, destroy the life of... Oh, we don't want to go here. Destroy the uh, livelihood of all the sand-dwelling people that we've met. Um, because there seem to be some, like, I don't know, desert nomads that do live in the desert, and we rain thunder down upon them to get them out of our way. Oh, it's become daytime again, so it's, uh, once more, Surland should be disappearing. Um, but we're gonna ruin their ability to hide in the desert and be the only people in here. Legan, activate the device. Here goes nothing. Well, I'll be damned. It worked. It's pretty good. Excellent work, Megan. Oops. Good old dad and his prototypes, eh? Eh? Worthless junk heap. <laughs> what? What a jerk. We had best make haste. They're like, be careful with the device. It's delicate. Oh, we broke it. That's uh, dad's fault. What a dummy. Okay, treasures. Alarm. We might need that. Uh-oh. I wasn't expecting this. What the hell is that? Biggest aunt ever, yeah? That's gotta be the cause of the sandstorms. Yeah, that's exactly it. Some uh, ant lion is causing the sandstorms. And of course, typical arch. Oh, that's not even a ant lion at all. It's a desert rose. It doesn't even look like the biggest ant ever. All right. Well, let's try using this light damage against him. Um, you can attack and you can... I should probably... Oops, I was going to move him back, but... Let's just have everybody else attack for now and see what happens. 75 damage. 246. Whoa. Damn, son! Alright, let's try the big guy. Looks like this guy needs the big one. Alright. Do we have... I'm, I ne I've never needed the skill to bring people back to life. So I don't have it set up here. That sucks. Alright, well we've got some alarms. And you can use... Left on everybody. Yeah, the dead do more damage. I don't know if the damage to MP ratio was better. Probably not. But we... Could maybe keep, uh, kill him faster that way. Oh, do you know what, though? We just learned... Oh, we're going to die for sure here. Let's just use this most powerful of our spells. It did almost kill him. We died, but I do remember the secret now. We talked to one guy in town, and he gave us a spell. So, we're going to load this up real quick. And when we get back, I'll just warp us right to that fight, and I'll turn on those two uh, spells we need. Okay, guys, we're back, and we're actually going to try one thing here. Um, these are all low-level mobs. So, there is Grant's Tomb there we could go into, but uh, the FAQ want to double-check just to make sure we're getting the right spell set up. Um, there's a town up here. Who might live here? Oh, you remember we visited this town with Sion way up in the sky a long time ago. Our ancestors gave their name to this town. Somehow we survived until the float into the sky with the Dananis. It doesn't make sense. Let's just go with it, because they've got some pretty awesome weapons. Let's see what we can buy here. First off, uh, do we want to keep that? Maybe we'll keep that. Sell this. Sell that. No one can equip the white red eagle yet. Um, we got some crappy shields here. Some crappy armor. Moon ring. Uh, get rid of that. Keep the fell stone. The rest of the stuff we'll keep. Let's see what we can buy here and afford. All right, we're gonna start off uh, buying some baker's caps. Apparently, they're one of the better. Caps in the game. We can't afford four of them, though. 
This is the speed of the winds. Uh, you know, we'll grab one of those two. Mail of the money lender. I wonder what that does. No hints here. Hmm. Anyways, it really says we should just get the the hats. But there's also some stuff hidden around. Hidden around town. So let's go take care of that. Actually, we're going to equip here first. Let's get you. Look at that. Puts up the spirit by quite a bit. And the defense by a whole lot. But poor Lolo, you are stuck with a logical cap. Because we could not actually, let's... Is there a remove thing here? Uh, I don't see it. All right, let's, uh... And what'll it be? Let's sell these extra logic caps we got. Oh, that is not gonna cover it at all. Oh, we could get rid of this. That would give us enough. I don't think we're gonna use that again. It's apparently the only place to get these in the... Oh man, we're short by 10. How am I supposed to get to the other guys here? Right and left normally work for that sort of thing, but... In this case, they're really not. I don't know why. Thanks. Okay, we really need to sell this guy's stupid... There we go. I don't know why they're... Oh, if there's anything else for him to wear, it doesn't have remove showing. Okay. Let's sell this last logical cap. And that puts us just over enough to buy this thing. You're welcome. I shouldn't have bought that stupid wing thing right away. Let's equip Lolo. His little helmet. Let's see about this thing. This thing puts up defense by quite a bit for being a... Uh, but also possesses the speeds of the wind. Look at how fast it makes him go. 22. Ah, uh, do you know what? Let's give him that. Get our guys going a little faster. And we're gonna go looking for some, uh... Secret stuff. Let's see what we can find here. I'm not sure what... Play oh, look! Tell me that. Tell me it's... Uh, it's for day six, though, isn't it? Oh, no, this means it's open. Yeah! Perfect. Timing. Ryan Helm. Well, that's pretty cool. You can't wear it. What about you? Nope. Nope. Is it one of these? Nope. Let's, uh, let's just try looking at it. I can't. Inventory. Nobody can use it. Oh. Huh. Looks like I shouldn't have used these guys to come here, but I did. So hopefully we still have that in the end game if it's important. Speed is of the essence in combat. I have learned a mantra which grants additional agility from the Nath. Learn the mantra Thulum? I already learned it. Then inscribe it later. Oh well. So somewhere around here there's supposed to be more oh look. That was uh doesn't even know the secret room in his own house. Oh uh, let's see. House from the right of the station. So when we came here as Scion, this house was locked. Now it's not. And the only reason why it was locked was so that they couldn't get these items. Or because maybe we were going to be here first. I don't know if they would have been here first. So let's, um... Look, you can finally have some armor! That's going to be nice. Let's see about Sork here. Voice armor. Can anybody else wear it, though? It sounds like this armor of a singer. Probably not. Nope. Alright, Sork, you win by default by being the only armor wearer. And look at that. That's quite a boost, too.
Yeah, it looks like we are done with his town, but the FAQ does say we can afford to just sell this. So, let's do that. Uh, we'll sell this old armor as well. That's laughable how crappy it is now. Um, and we're going to buy some more of these wings. Because we can afford three more. Let's see, some of this other stuff is a definite boost. Um, oh, we can't afford that already. Uh, do you know what? This weapon's supposed to be better for him. These are supposed to be better weapons too. Let's see. Blood and Thunder. Let's get that. The other guy's gonna be using mantras more often anyways. Thanks! Yeah, that's a pretty good boost. Okay, let's head on our way now. Sure, Sork isn't the best uh, damage dealer due to his lack of... I don't know what you'd call it. Well, damage, but... Uh, he doesn't use mantras, and we're kind of OP with our, our mantras here, overpowered by quite a bit. So, that's mainly what we're going to be using. You can go in that dungeon too, but I'm not going to bother. I don't think we really need it. We're just going to head this way. And you guys, we're going to, well, we'll fast forward through this, but the cutscene's going to happen again. And actually, now that... Got an alarm. Now that the sandstorms are gone... It seemed like all the other enemies were gone for now, too. Huh? Yep, blah, blah, blah. Okay, everyone is going to cast this right away. We got Curry. Cast on yourself. It's going to cause a little bit of damage, but this guy seems to only use Earth-based attacks. So, if we all cast it and are lucky enough to get it off before him, no one will die. Oh, man, you look like you're charging up. Dragon Ball Z styles here. Now, it's an interesting mechanic in this game that it causes you damage to do that. How the frick did that do so much damage? The crap am I supposed to do? Holy crap. All right. Well, anyways, I didn't change that. I meant to change that to be a 2-0 spell. Darn. All right. Well, we did add Animus to our repertoire here. Oh boy, apparently... Apparently if you choose the warrior version of Surland, this is a lot easier. Okay, but also according to this uh, FAQ, the boss fights don't seem to be getting any harder. Desert Road should fall in no time. <sighs> Alright. Your job is apparently to cast Mega Me all the time. Does he go in the right order? He does. Alright, where is it here? Well, we wasted a whole turn freaking making ourselves immune to nothing. But maybe we'll just get lucky here. Everyone suck at mantras. All right, well this should still work. Actually, do you know what? You're gonna cast. You can't even afford to cast that. Well, you're not gonna cast that. You're just gonna cast this dumb thing on him. doing quite a bit of damage every round here. Oh, it didn't kill him! Nice! Alright, let's keep this going here. Can you, you can't afford any mantras at all. You're gonna attack, you're gonna attack, and you're gonna heal everybody. But not enough. But you're still gonna do it. Now we got him down to slight red. Keeps up individual attacks, we should be okay. Oh, he missed! All right. Uh, we don't have enough to pull off another one of those, though. So what we're going to do is actually... Actually, we can have him heal everybody. Um, you are going to use an item. Sweet water. Him. 
He'll attack and you'll use... Oh, you're not going to have it ready yet. Frick. Oh well, he'll attack. Oh, he turned a little bit harder. Oh, look! This thing isn't doing too bad of damage. Now this should hopefully just hit Sork. Yeah! Alright. Let's have you use the alarm. I don't want Sork to miss out on the on the um, magic, or the what would you call it? Experience points. Alright, sweet water on him. Mantra, you're gonna use the big guy. Hopefully this kills him. Not yet. That's a wind-based attack, and we're all floating around. Ah, crap. Alright. There's one thing we can do here to try to turn this all around. I did think that this would be a good idea to have this spell sitting in the background just in case. But he is just going to kill everybody again. That is unfortunate. Alright, so... Issues. I didn't have the good attack spell that I wanted. Um, and... I guess I was just ill prepared for the battle. Um, we're going to try it one more time. This time we can cut right to that because I'm going to have to do all of that other stuff off screen again. Why didn't I save it? Alright guys, we're back and we're going to try... I mean, some of the stuff's going to be the same. We are going to definitely try to make ourselves immune to some of his attacks. Um, the other thing that I've got going for me here though... As I got Teal Ream here, I guess when he starts getting a little lower on health, maybe I'll try to... Oh, nice, it missed this time. Okay. Um, first up, big change. This is Bolt now instead of Water. So we're going to be able to cast it more than once, or far more frequently. Um, the other thing we got going for us is Teal Ream here. We're going to start casting that on people right away. He can't afford to cast it on himself. Do you know what? Let's have him cast one bolt on him just for fun. Um, and you're gonna get to healing right away. That might have been a little overkill for the healing, actually. But man, that did a lot more damage. And it was a simpler spell, too. I guess it because it was meant for one person. So I think those were supposed to miss the whole time. Maybe it's just a really small chance it'll hit. Um, or maybe it glitched out somehow. Either way, we're gonna be doing way better now. Nobody took any damage that round, so we're going to go ahead and have him cast it as well. Yeah, this is going to be... Oh, man, I'm just... Seems I just got unlucky the last time. That's kind of annoying. Oh, he doesn't have enough. He's going to give himself a sweet water. Just in case he has to start healing people. But I have a feeling this guy's going to be dead the next round. And here he goes with his deaths. Didn't manage to kill everybody, though. So you are definitely going to be using... This spell. Did it miss? Oh, see, so... Oh, man. So see, it kept that guy alive because he had the freaking... Right spell. But what we're going to do is just use this. You can't use any mattress, so you're going to use an item. What do we got here? A Ramurb keep himself alive, you know? Probably should have used that. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, we should have brought friggin' dumbass back to life. Lagan gains two levels. Frick. Missed out on all that experience. And somehow we barely survived. Actually, we did barely survive, so that's fair enough. But now the sandstorms are done forever. Derud will never haunt this world again. Anyways, I'm Zerfall. This has probably been a longer episode than normal. I'm not sure what it'll come down to after cropping out those bits. But thanks for watching, and hope to catch you in the next episode. 